Hello, my crafty friends. I am Tia Woodward and I am Stamp with Tia. Thank you for joining me today. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and I am located in Vancouver, Washington. And the reason for my video today is so that I can demonstrate um, a card that I want to show you how to make. And then I'm going the, the suite of products that I'm using to make this card. I'm going to give you a little bit of an overview of that too. I'm not going to get too hot and heavy into it, but I am going to show you the products. Sound good? All right, um, before I do that, there's a couple things I need to, well, there's a few things I need to let you know. First of all, we have the paper pumpkin for the month of July is called Sending Good Thoughts. It has, I'm reading, reading a cheat sheet. Um, it has supplies to create nine cards, three each of three designs, and nine coordinating envelopes. Uh, it's a nautical theme. Uh, for those who need a loving message in a bottle. How cute. Specialty dry embossed cards and an exclusive stamp set and a Bermuda Bay Classic stamp and spot. The last day to subscribe to get this particular kit is July 10th. July 11th, you can't get it. I can't get it for you. So you have until July 10th. I will be posting the link to um, for you to look that up and see if that's something that you want to pursue. All right, so I'm a little behind in the catalog launch party for the, and I've got it laying here. Oh, it's right in front of me. I've got um, for the new mini catalog that is July through December. I have a good reason for being delayed in sharing this information. I retired last week from my day job and it was quite a push to get to that point. And there's a lot involved to um, retiring. There's a lot of paperwork involved. There's a lot of, there's just a lot of stuff. So, um, so I've been kind of MIA for the last week and a half, but I'm back and I'm excited to be here. So today I, um, I'm going to be sharing with you the Splendid Day Suite, but before I go any further on that, I do want to mention that July and August are celebration months, and in those celebration months, there is an additional flyer of information, da -da -da -da. and what happens is with every qualifying purchase, of $50 or $100, you earn free stuff. So I'm just gonna flash it up real quick. I am I am thinking, originally I was going to do a demonstration of, hi Polly, thank you for joining me. Um, originally I was gonna do a demonstration of, of one of the holiday sets on Thursday, but I think I've changed my mind and I think I'm going to do an overview on Thursday of everything that's in the celebration, but I don't want anyone to lose any more time since um, I really should have rolled this out four days ago, three days ago. Um, so I'm just gonna go over it super quick. Just gonna hold it up and then again on Thursday night at six o'clock, I will do a Facebook Live and I will share more information. Um, if you're a customer of mine, you've already received the flyer and so none of this is should be new information, but all right. So for a $50 purchase, you can get the, oh, you can't see it. Let's see if I can get that just right. It's called the Hippest Hippos. So there's four sentiments and three image stamps. And then for another $50 purchase, you can get the coordinating dies. And look at all the dies that are in here. There's 19 dies. There's like sunglasses, there's, there's an umbrella, there's scuba set, there is flowers, hearts, looks like a party hat, a wash tub, a boat, water. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So clearly I need to spend more time going over this um, with you, but most people have plans on the 4th of July, so I don't want to take up all your time with me kind of advertising. I am, thank you, Polly, although it's a little bit of a, a mental adjustment. Um, I'm used to working 
my full-time job and my part-time job. Well, this was my part-time job. Now Stampin' Up! is going to be my full-time job for as long as I can make it. So, but, um, so I was constantly rush, 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 rush. And my husband keeps saying, you're retired, slow down. <laughs> and, and it's only been a few days. <laughs> but uh, I'm still in the mental of um, rush, 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 go, 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 go. So anyway, so there's um, Hippest Hippos. Then on the next page is, it's a set of designer series paper. And this designer series paper coordinates with, I'm looking... Huh. Oh, it coordinates with the Ringed with Nature bundle that's in the mini catalog. So there um, are several nice uh, prints in here. I actually just opened this today. I haven't I haven't had time, and I it's funny because I had been putting off you getting this as a um, as one of my celebration items, and now that I have it, I'm like. I need to order more so I can get more because <laughs> I really like these prints a lot. I was really surprised at that. Okay, so I'm gonna set that aside, set the hippos aside, on to the next page. Um, there is a set of note cards and it really is. <laughs> oh, hey, good to know, thank you. There's hope, <laughs> there's hope for retirement. I'm gonna enjoy it, I just need to get there. So. Um, there are these note cards. There's ten, t 10 of each of these. Let's see if I can get those close enough. This one has is pool party with a um, like a foliage design in it. And this one is soft sea foam. Let's see if I can get those close enough for you to see with a design in it. And then there are these, there's 20 of these soft sea foam envelopes, but the inside is lined with the pool party. So these envelopes do go with everything. The back of the envelope, has this beautiful, see that? It's got this beautiful foliage. These actually coordinate with, and I'm going to show you samples using these. It's not what I'm using, to, it's not what I'm demonstrating today, but I've got samples made up using these note cards with the Splendid Day Suite. So there is that. Next would be these stylish sketches. So there's four stamps in here. There's figs and leaf, there's some ducklings, and there's a, a fox. And then there's like a shadow, you can't see it very well, but there's like a shadow speck in here. You know, I didn't think I was going to like this, and now that I have it, I've actually thought of several designs. So I'm hoping on Thursday night to have some, th some samples made up to show this to you. I might even call Thursday night a uh, catalog launch party, since I'm behind the game. Um, I just might do that. Okay, then the next item is it's designer series paper. It's a it's more of a specialty paper. Our designer series papers are usually printed on both sides. These are only printed on one side. There are I think there are six of this white with a silver stripe, and then there's it's foil, and then there are six with the white with a gold stripe foil. And then there are six of this polka dot in silver and then in also in gold. So that is, there's 24 sheets in that pack and you get that for um, free with a purchase of $50. Then you get this one that's called Amazing Phrasing. Now I'm gonna tell you, this one is free with a purchase of $100, but if you think about it, there's 17 stamps in here. This is a really big stamp set and it mixes and matches. All of the words mix and match. So I can't wait to show this um, to you on Thursday because um, I think you will see the value of it being um, qualifying with a $100 purchase. All right, moving on. So. This set of dies is called tree lot dies. And you'll see like there's, there's a trailer, there's trees, and then there's some outlines for like a puppy, but 
like what would you be cutting that out, right? Well, in the mini catalog, there is a stamp set called Trees for Sale. And these dies, which are you get for um, a hundred dollar purchase, get for free with a hundred dollar purchase, coordinates with this stamp set. So there are 24 dies in here, and many of them can be used without the stamp set. Many, many, many of them, like the trees, the camper, the branches, the tree stand, there's a bow, there's a wreath, there's some stars. There's something I can't tell what it is. Oh, it looks like candy canes. Anyway, so there is that. And the stamp set is only $22. All right, this one is good with the purchase of $100, but this is a stamp set and designer series paper together. So there's five stamps in here called, this is called Wonderful World. They're quite detailed. And then there's this coordinating designer series paper. Oh, my camera is picking up the darkest flower. It is really quite more balanced. There we go, now you can see it better. Um, there are 12 sheets. So there's 12 designs, two of each, and they're really, really pretty. So again, I need to make some things up to show you. And I think that was, oh, and then the last item is Perfect Pomegranate. And this you can get for free. This is a host stamp set. So in the catalog, in the, again, it's right in front of me and I'm looking all over for it. In the mini catalog in the back, there is some host sets that you can get. I'm turning to the page. Uh, you can get them with, I'm trying to remember, I want to say it's a $150 order, but I might be wrong. I'm looking, I'm looking. It is, let's see, qualifying party orders earn Stampin' Rewards, blah, blah, blah. I'll have to double check this for you, but I'm pretty sure that with a $150 order, you can purchase there is um, there's a paper and there's a stamp set. You can so you can purchase those individually. Now in the celebration flyer, there is also a stamp set. This perfectly pomegranate. It's actually really lovely. If you look in the catalog and look at the um, samples, you can see they're really pretty. They're very striking. This you can get for free with a three hundred dollar purchase or. You can make you know a purchase that you do by yourself or you can have all of your friends place an order with you and do like a party and you can earn that for free all right ta-da that's let's see oh and there's one more thing i'm sorry let's see celebration come back so um i'm double checking the months I'm pretty sure if it's in here, it has to be July through August. There is a planner. So if you join Stampin' Up, not only do you get $125 worth of product for $99, free shipping on that order, one free paper pumpkin, but you will also get this free planner. And in this planner comes three notebooks. I should have already had these out of the plastic. I think this is the only thing still left in plastic. Uh, there's three individual notebooks, you know, for writing in. There is, there's so much, there's, there's more in here than you can fit in the notebook. So it's truly customizable for you. There are these dividers and they are listed, um, they're listed one through 12. So I assume that that's for the months. I haven't assembled mine yet. There are four pages of stickers. So there are some pages in here that you can either use for bullet journaling, or you can use this as a planner, or you can use this as a calendar. Then, oh, too far to reach. Then, I don't know if you can see this, but see how thick this is? See, this won't all fit in that planner. So you truly are gonna pull out what you are interested in. And there is, there's notes in here for weekly priorities, and that can be business or it can be personal. 
um, this calendar goes through December of 2023. So there's weekly priorities, there's calendar pages, then there, if you, if you flip to the back, there is, um, sorry, I'm getting there. I saw it a little while ago. There are pages for, like I said, bullet journaling. There's more pages with a different design on them. Okay, so I, like I said, I didn't wanna go into this too long. And all of this comes with not only the binder and everything that I've shown you so far, but it also comes with this stamp set called Making Plans. And again, you could use that for bullet journaling. So it says like all the things, wish list, hashtag, to do, thank you, plans. It's, you check all the boxes. It's just a fun, nice little stamp set. So everything that you would normally get with a, with our normal joining special, <laughs> $125 worth of product for, for 99 and everything that I just mentioned. Um, I will, I'm hoping to assemble this and show this to you later this week. Now that I'm not working, I'm not limited to only doing two videos a week. I can do more if I need to in order to show off everything. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the camera down so that we can get to what you really came to see and that was for me to demonstrate a card using the Splendid Day Suite. And so I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna show you um, the products. There's just a few products rather quick and then we'll start making the card. And I've pre-cut, pre-scored um, all of the card stock. So this won't take too long. All right, turning the camera down. Polly, I really appreciate you giving me those words of encouragement that I'm gonna get used to um, retirement. It's <laughs> a little bit of an adjustment. It is such an elegant suite. Let's see, I might have to adjust my light here. Um, as you can see, so the, um, these papers are foil on one side and not foil on the other side. So once I move once I take this um, designer series paper away, then I will be able to point my camera back down and make this a little bit brighter. So sorry about that. I'm gonna raise this just a little bit. I hope that didn't make anybody sick. There we go. I really like this stamp set personally. Um, I've used it a lot. I've got some samples to show you. I can't wait to show you. Matter of fact, I'll pull those a little closer so I don't forget to show you. So here's what the stamp set looks like. There's nine stamps. There's four sentiments here, here, and here. I love this one, sending hugs. As you know, I sign everything saying hugs. And then there's two foliage pieces and some what can be like a watercolor offset. These do not line up exactly, but they are great for either a background dot or background color or um, You'll see how I use it. I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate this one together. And then we have a bumblebee, and I love the bumblebee. I'm wondering if there's anything I have not added him to. <laughs> and it, <clears throat> so that's the stamp set. And then here are the dies. And what's really cool about these, let's see, I'm gonna pull one of my pre-cuts out. see if I can show you that. So you see how this has got these nice skinny lines? Most of the dies in this, that's what they do. There's a couple, this one and this one, that cut out stamped images, and then this one cuts out the stamped um, bumblebee. This one cuts out, you can use this as a sentiment or a flower pot or something like that. And I'm gonna cough. <coughs> excuse me, get my little drink here. The rest of these cut out in this rather slender fashion. <clears throat> fashion. And I find them quite beautiful. I'm really attracted to this look. All right, put that back, set these aside. 
Then I just wanted, oh, I'm gonna show you the designer series paper real quick. So I've cut into several of these already. So um, yeah, I, <laughs> this is literally the biggest piece I have left of this one. So this one is kind of a champagne gold. And, and then it's got this white raised, let's turn this around. You can see that bumblebee is on there. So that's really beautiful. And then the back side is soft sea foam in a foliage. Let's see, I should look through my camera and see what you can see. Hmm, oh, let me, hmm. This might get a little rough for a second. I'll, I'll go through this quickly. And what, one of the things, and I've, I say this often, the best way to see the designer series papers is to go online. I should have had this one ready to tell you what the name of it is. I just set my catalog. Hold on one second. I can tell you what the name of the, the paper is. And you can go, it's called, it's literally called Splendid Day Specialty. It's 12 by 12. Um, the best way to see this is to go online and click on the thumbnails and each individual sheet will pull up and you can see it. So this one is a soft sea foam with that champagne color on the other side. This one is fresh freesia with that raised white. <clears throat> Again, fresh freesia on the other side. This is the paper that I'm using in today's card. It's a beautiful copper with white. And the other side is 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 it's coral my uh, my calypso coral moving all these aside this side is soft sea foam and it's like a matte foil with that white rays and there's actually some little ladybugs and stuff in here it's really beautiful i love this particular paper the most and then this is like pool party on the other side with a kind of a bokeh print here is silver with the white. And this, oh, I want to say this was Sahara sand. And then this is like a copper as well. It's like a muted copper with this white raised. And then this is, again, with the Calypso coral print. All right, got all those set out of... Got all those set out of the way. So this uh, suite also has this beautiful ribbon. It's called seam binding ribbon and it's soft sea foam. And you will see this on, it, I did not use this on my card today, but I do have it on some of the samples that I'm gonna be showing you. It ties very nicely. It cuts really well. I am, have very much enjoyed this ribbon. And then there are these, and again, I did not use these on my card today, but they are part of the suite. And there are these trinkets that are gold, very much in that same design as the die cuts that I showed you. So very pretty. I think I've got one of these on one of my samples, maybe two. All right. I've got all that set aside. So then here is the card that we're making today in that fresh freesia. Isn't that pretty? And you, I think you're gonna like how simple it is to make too. So some of my supporting characters today besides using Splendid Thoughts is I wanted a thank you card. So I went to the go-to greetings which has the four different or three different fonts in here using the same messages, just in three different fonts. Then I've used the scalloped contoured um, rectangle dies. And I've, for this card, I'm using the second to largest die. And then I'm using the stitched rectangle dies and I'm using the third, excuse me, the fourth to largest die. Oh, sweet. Well, then Libby, I, I mean, um, Polly, I will, I will um, give measurements as we go along then. And I just saw we've got somebody else that joined us too. Hello, Holly. Thank you for joining. I'm so glad that you're here. Yay. All right. 
So I'm gonna set these aside. There's no reason for me to show them to you again. Same thing with the go-to greeting. Well, actually, yeah, I've already got everything pre-mounted. Okay, so you're going to start with a piece of designer series paper that is cut at five and a quarter by 12. And I am gonna go slow so that anybody that wants to follow along, they can. The video, if for some reason um, anybody gets behind or I go too fast, the video will be posted and I will put all of the dimensions on my blog in the next couple of hours, or within a couple hours after this video is done. And I'll post the YouTube version of the video in the blog. And then I link all of that back to Facebook. So five and a quarter, not five and a half, five and a quarter by 12. Then we're going to score at two inches. Oh, and here's a, here's a tip. So I ha if you've watched me ever, you know I like to run my score back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. With the foils, I don't do that. I go over it one time. I don't want to tear it. I don't want to mar it up. I want to be gentle with it. So first score line is two inches. Second score line is five inches. And third score line is eight inches. And I am going to burnish those lines. So I am going to fold gently and gently just press. A lot of times I use the, the edge of this like it's a knife and go scrape and I, and I know that I'm a little hard on my papers, but I'm being very gentle with this paper. And then I'm going to fold this back, making sure that my top and bottom are still aligned, and they are. And I'm just going to give that one nice little crease. And then my final fold will flip to the front so that two inches sits on the front. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to pull in, just putting my hair in a pony, there we go. It all of a sudden got warm in here and I suspected that it might, <clears throat> is I have a back one piece of cardstock that is five and a, or excuse me, four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is going to get mounted just like this. So that this opens like this. So you can turn this either way. You know, you can, you can turn it so that all of this is the foil or the matte side, like I've done. Neither way is wrong. And then here's what the foil would look like. So I'm going to use my stamp and seal. To apply. Hmm. It's acting a little extra sticky today. I didn't do that earlier. Might be the angle that I'm holding it because I'm standing up instead of sitting. If it, if it ever looks like I'm being a little awkward, it's more than likely that exact reason is it's because I'm standing up and doing something out in front of me and I don't get to have my eyes right over the top. So this is looking fairly centered. So I'm going to press that down and be done. And as you know, I very seldom ever use the stamp and seal, but I thought with the foil, it might um, allow me to move along a little bit faster.
because that foil is going to act a little bit as a barrier. You can make the green glue work. I just wanted, I didn't want you to have to wait on me. So this part of the card is actually ready to be set aside. Uh, Polly, you let me know if I need to give you any dimensions or score, score marks. I'm going to set that over there. And I'm going to bring in my pre-die cut. Just realized what I didn't cut. That's okay. That's okay. Everything's good. Um, let's see. So I'm going to be decorating this, and I want to go over a couple of things about how I did that. Getting everything out of my my uh, project bin over here. So the first thing I want to show you is on this card, in the back here, I actually applied ink to a piece of vellum before I cut it out. So what I did is I, this looks like it's dirty, but it's not. I've been using it all morning with this color. I'm gonna get out just a piece of the vellum cardstock. And I'm gonna ink up my, my brush, and I'm just gonna start applying ink, and it, I'm not, you can't even really see it at the moment. But I wanted there to be just a hint of color on this before I die cut the foliage that I have on the back there. So that's probably enough ink. And I'm not gonna have you watch me die cut it. I am gonna slip a piece of white behind it so that you can see that I added some color. And then, <laughs> oh, there we go. And then I used this die to die cut that out. And then it's just a very light amount of color back there, but it is back there. So I felt like that was worth doing. I've already I've actually already die cut that, so I'm not going to make you watch me do that. Set that aside. Then the other thing that I oh there we go. Looks like I actually need to re-ink that. It's been doing fine all day, but okay. So for this piece of foliage. I don't know if you can see, there's just a little bit of very light shading in a, in a couple of locations. Like I mentioned when I showed you the stamp set, this does not line up with these leaves. So what I've done is I've stamped I've, and did a stamp, or excuse me, I inked up, I stamped off, then I stamped on here, then with full strength, I stamped with this over the top, and then I die cut it. So I'm just gonna show that to you, except for the die cutting stage. Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm inking that up, and I'm just gonna show you on the back side. This is what full strength would look like, and then that's what stamp off looks like just very very pale and light so i am going to stamp off on the back so can you see that oh you're just going to watch for now okay oh okay thank you holly i'm so glad you're here so can you see very very light very very pale wash that off real quick before I replace it with the other. Oh my, there are fireworks going off outside and it is, I don't think we're past 1.30 this afternoon. That's interesting. All right, so then I've got this stamp and I'm going to just ink that up full strength. 
and I'm going to line it up something like that. That sounds too close. And I'm talking about the fireworks. So can you see how these do not line up just right? But then when I put the die on it, it's going to cut off some of that excess like that. And actually, I have one die cut right here. So you can see, see there's just a little bit of shading in a few spots. All right. Set that aside. I can actually close this up for a minute. Actually, I need to pull that back because I'm gonna to have to put my sentiment on that. That's the one thing I just realized I hadn't cut yet is I didn't cut my piece of paper for my sentiment. That, that's okay. I can do that rather quickly. And I am chronic about cleaning as I go. <laughs> All right, I am, oh, I clean, closed up my ink too soon. I'm gonna stamp my B. And then I'm going to start placing my foliage on here. And you can use as little or as much foliage as you want. I think I'm actually gonna use one less piece than what I had on here before. I think I'm gonna leave this little piece off. We'll see. So I'm going to put my B. And that's gonna help me with my placement. Then I am going to close this up now for, for a couple of minutes. And here is, if they're all tied together right now, let's see if I can get them apart. So here is that vellum that I applied color to. And you see how nice and light that is? So I might just angle that a little bit as like that. I'm going to use two mini glue dots. They're going to be hidden by some other pieces that are on top. So, okay. I'm going to put one right here. Thank you. I'm glad you ladies are liking this. Can't wait to show you my other samples too. I, um, as a demonstrator, occasionally there are some, I know Polly, you're a demonstrator. Holly, I'm, you're new to me, so I'm not sure. But the, um, as a demonstrator, sometimes we get some special events that allow us to um, do some crafting. And so some of the samples that I have for you are from that event. All right, so next I am going to put this on top. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to um, just use a couple of mini glue dots behind in these two locations. The mini glue dots are very strong. There we go. Very, very strong. <laughs> and let's see, I'm kind of liking this. So this one was angling this way. I'm gonna angle this one the other direction just a little bit. Then I had decided not to use the white. So that's just an extra. And then I have these two pieces of foliage that I can stick in here. But I don't want to, I feel like um, on this card I hid that vellum just a little bit too much and so I'm looking for another, that might be a nice, that might be a nice offset. And then, I don't know, let's see. I need to decide if I'm going to use both or just one. I think I'm just going to use one. I think I'm going to use the loopy one. And I'm going to use one mini glue dot. Yep, 
You like that? Good. Yay. <laughs> See if I can pick this up gently. Okay, I'm going to tuck that back in there. There we go. There we go. That's that's looking very nice. I'm going to put this other one aside. I don't need it. Okay. So next I need to stamp. I'm saying okay a lot. My apologies. I need to stamp my thank you and then I'll, I'll cut it out real quick. And my thank you is right here. This is a very tone on tone card. Very, very tone on tone. Sometimes I mix it up and go all kinds of brights mixed with black and such. So this is just that piece of scrap paper that I was using. And let's see if I can straighten out my verbiage. Well, that's not too bad. Mm, that's not too bad at all. I, mean, I might trim just a little bit off the bottom, but yeah, okay. I got lucky there. As long as I trim straight, I got lucky. So are you, do you know what the chamois is? It is, it is um, a sponge. This is a Stampin' Up! product. You get it wet. I keep mine in a um, DVD case. This is actually uh, clean. <laughs> it looks like it's very dirty. It is not. And I clean it uh, in between every couple of projects that I do. And it cleans off your stamps and they're ready to be put right back in the case. It, I mean, it works beautifully. So that is one of my favorite tools. Okay, I need to grab my paper cutter, which is right here. Set some things aside. Yes, the chamois is the bomb. Well, let's see. So if I cut, not sure that you can see what I'm, oh yeah, you can. All right. That nice and close. We'll cut this approximately the same distance as the other side. Now I'm going to attempt. Sometimes it gets a little hard to use the trimmer on these little little pieces, but ha <laughs> ha! And I got lucky. Today's my lucky day. That is ready. All right, I am going to use, so to put this on the front, I am going to use dimensionals. And have you wondered yet where I got this beautiful Fresh Freezer ribbon? I will tell you. I made it. Oops, I get that dimensional rather close to the edge. Let's see if it shows. It does not. This ribbon is our seam binding crinkle ribbon that comes in basic white. And I have colored it with Stampin' Blends. I'm going to show you how I did it before I tied the bow. All right, I am going to set this. I'm gonna nestle this down inside that stitch line so you can see. So now I have a bow to add and I have some gems to add. I can go ahead and adhere this to the front of my card now though. So when I adhere this, I wanna make sure I only use adhesive on, this, on the back of this side of this piece, right? Because if I use it on both sides, it's going to adhere to some of these other layers and we don't want to do that. So when I adhere it, I'm going to center it from top to bottom and side to side. And again, I'm going to go ahead and use the Stampin' Seal. I'm just gonna put, yes, I'm using a lot. I'm heavy handed with adhesive. I know it. There 
we go. So we are now adhered. Isn't that pretty? You see that, all that fresh freesia? All right, next, I am going to pull in my ribbon and my blender pens. I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat. My silicone mat does have some staining on it from me using some red pens and not getting this cleaned in a timely manner. Totally my own fault. The, so this, this won't come off on anything. So one, I've got two ribbons here. I'm gonna tie a double bow. One of them I'm going to color in the dark Fresh Freesia Stampin' Blend and the other one I'm gonna use the light. And all that does is just create a little bit of difference in depth. That's all it does. You could color them both the same. You could leave them white if you wanted, but I was on a white cardstock, so I didn't think that was my best bet. And one of the side benefits of using your blender pens, so that your alcohol markers on your ribbon, is it, it kind of starches it a little bit. It kind of um, firms it up and makes it so that it's easier to tie. So I used the dark one first, now I'm using the light one. And yes, I know I need a new silicone mat. It's one of those things I will take care of shortly. It's one of those things that I just keep forgetting to add to my order. All right, done with my Stampin' Blends. Now I have a bow maker, which is right here. And I'm going to just layer the two of these together and tie them at the same time. My friend Ron in Tri-Cities, Washington, or in the Kennewick, Washington area. Yeah, right? It does, it makes it, I think it does. I think it gives it really nice body. Um, he makes these for me on his 3D printer. So I have them for sale. They are $6.50 a piece and then shipping. The last one that I shipped out was $3 and I think it was $3.43 for shipping to Texas from Vancouver, Washington. Okay. There we go. Lost my hold there for a second. I make nothing off of the sale of these. Um, all of that goes to the to the gentleman that makes the um, bow makers. Just a little bit of supplemental income for him, and I'm opening up, pulling out, okay, if I can get a hold of it, pulling out the two bows separate from each other. There we go. And then I am going to go ahead and cut them before I put them on, before I adhere it to the card. It's so much harder when it's out in front of you. There we go. And the two middle ones, I tend to put them next to each other when I'm doing the cuts. All right, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna use a mini glue dot to attach that here. Mini glue dot, mini glue dot. I'm blind, let's see, oh, here they are. I set them off to one side. Just need one, really lightweight ribbon. And then I 
like to put it off to one side of my sentiment. Okay, come on. Can't get a hold of that little one. There we go. And then I do have some gems on here. We are almost done with this card, by the way. I will show you how to put the um, insert on the inside. I have a trick to show you to line up the inside. These are the 2021 through 2023 in color opal rounds. I've used all of one of the um, soft succulent colorway. Here is the fresh freesia. And so I'm gonna add a few of those. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. And I'm just using the, the smaller size. I'm gonna put one on the sentiment. Did I just hit the camera and make it? Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you like the double bow. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna put one over here. And then we'll put one over here. So I used my gems in threes. Sometimes I'll go five. Depends on what kind of space I have on the card. All right. <clears throat> get out my stamp and piercing mat. That's what I like to use while I'm stamping as a surface. And then I've got this, I believe this is a eucalyptus of some sort. And I'm going to, let's see, I just had a piece of scrap right here. I'm gonna stamp off the edge a little bit and I don't wanna get it on my stamp and piercing mat. So this is how I'm decorating the inside of my card. And normally I like to stamp on the left side, but this curls, the top curls um, to the left. And so if I stamp this way, I'm taking that top right off. And so I, I want that showing, so I am going to stamp on the right instead. And there we go. Now we are ready to adhere that to the inside and this card will be finished. And then I can show you a couple of samples that I have. So what I like to do is I like to open up the card. Oh, I need to put adhesive on the back of this first. I'm going to use the stamp and seal just because that's what I've been using Okay, giving me a little bit of a fit there. Oh, I've got way plenty on there. Okay, so I open this up and I place this. Oh, try to get, keep your finger out of the sticky. I place it like this so that it's centered behind this front piece. And then I close. and now it's exactly where it needs to be. What do you think? Do you like it? How'd you do, Polly? Were you able to um, keep up? If not, the video will be posted um, in a couple hours. Okay, not to mention you can find the video that this particular video will still be on here. So let me remove this stamp and piercing mat, clear a couple of things, and let me show you some samples. So do you remember those note cards and envelopes that I showed you in the beginning? Well, here's a couple of samples that I made using those. So this one I stamped down the background. There's my B. And this one I raised up my sentiment. And there's my ribbon and used one die cut on the front. This one, I used a couple of die cuts on the front, including one that was the color of the ribbon that I was going to use. And either one of these will look completely lovely with these envelopes. So that's one set of samples. This one I just posted a couple of days ago. So this is just a, a standard car. This is, card. Um, this is 
one of those uh, background papers that I showed you <clears throat> from, <clears throat> oh, excuse me, from the specialty um, DSP. And that's how I did the inside. And then these three cards are cards that we made in that event that I mentioned that um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators participated in. And they didn't de necessarily decorate the inside of the cards. So this one, the ribbon was just looped around and has tags or ends sticking out the side. Right here is some designer series paper. And here we use blending pens. This, some of those blenders that I just colored the ribbon with, we used that to color the background and then stamped some bees on it. So super cute. Here, they encouraged us to, oh, I'm sorry, I just hit the camera. There we go. Um, this one, we used those specialty papers, the foil sides, and used this die to cut them out and then placed them. Here, I used the new decal edged rectangle dies. That's what I used here instead of tearing the edge or roughing it up. Then I stamped on the soft seafoam cardstock so that I could use my soft seafoam ribbon. And then this one, they used the brick and mortar embossing folder. They used a little bit of the white craft ink with a blending brush to kind of highlight some of the spots on the brick. I fussy cut my sentiment and then you, I mean, you can tell the rest. So there are some of the samples of things that you can make with the Splendid Thoughts stamp set and dies and specialty paper. And again, here's the card that we made today. I hope that you've had a great day. I am happy 4th of July to everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this card. I appreciate you all. God bless and big, big hugs. Thank you, Polly. Big hugs, everybody. Bye-bye.